Hello YouTube, this is Eli, the OBD Tech. I'm here working on a 2003 Lexus GS300. This video is not going to be based on a full diagnosis. I'm just doing this video to show you guys a quick way to also um, determine a misfire, specific cylinder misfire by using a scan tool. This, uh, this vehicle has, uh, has a misfire and is uh, backfiring under either idle or under low uh, engine load. And this is the coals that um, I found. This vehicle currently has a P0300, a random multiple cylinder misfire, and a P0302, a cylinder 2 misfire detected. So this is mostly a Pacific cylinder, which is number 2. Alright guys, so, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a way to, on these Toyotas, if you have a capable scan tool that could show you uh, the misfire count. So I'm going to show you guys by selecting the data stream. All data and I'm gonna go ahead and look for those uh, misfire counts on this vehicle and this is usually on Toyota's you know the scan tool will give you the misfire counts but this is on a on a scan tool that's able to do these up uh, um, these parameters so since this is a v6 engine I'm gonna select all six cylinders and show you guys if this is really a a number two cylinder misfire so so far on one through six we have zero value but usually these misfires could either be at idle or even under engine load so so right now all six are showing zero so i'm going to go ahead and and step on the gas i'm going to rev it up and show you guys if really the, the number two miss uh the number two cylinder is really the the main cause of this uh of this code of P0302. And as I step on the gas, I do feel the hesitation of that misfire. So far, no value counts. There you go, cylinder one and two. Number two is the one with the most count right now, currently, four to one. There you go, cylinder number two miss count, two, five. So currently, our code is showing that number two is a main cause. So this problem could be either a, uh, maybe a faulty coil pack, a spark plug, uh, ignition wire, injector, Maybe a leak on the intake manifold on that runner. So as I rev the engine up, I do feel that hesitation, that misfire. Alright guys, so, so far, you know, we have seen that number two is a, pr pretty much the main cause. So this is another way to actually determine if this is a uh, Pacific cylinder misfire. And by doing this uh, cylinder misfire count, we saw that number two was the main cause. The number one did show a value of one, but then it, it, it disappeared back to zero. Alright guys, so this is another way to determine a Pacific uh, you know, cylinder misfire on Lexus or Toyotas by using a scan tool that's capable of going into the, um, into the main computer and also you know, checking the parameters on, you know, on, on misfire accounts. Alright guys, so you know, hopefully this video um, helps you out by using a scan tool. Alright, so this is Eli the OBD Tech. Subscribe if you like. All right, guys. So I'm, um, you know, so I'm doing this little extra video clip to this video, showing you guys the main cause of this two codes that we had a P0300 and a P0302. The first cause of that P0300 was actually oil inside the spark plug tubes.
which was causing a, a random multiple misfire. So that was one one cause of this of this code of the P0300. And the other one was, like I said, the P0302. The main cause of that was actually a faulty coil pack. As you can see, there's actually a uh, an arc trail there. Actually, voltage was actually instead of a voltage going you know straight to the spark plug it was actually going to ground on the cylinder head so as you can see there's a, a an arc trail inside the boot and for further evidence as you can see on the spark plug there's that black trail it means that the voltage was not going through the spark plug all the way which which was not uh, creating that spark igniting spark with fuel so as you can see on the spark plug we, there's actually it was a dead cylinder Basically, there was fuel, but no spark. So this was actually the, the two main causes of these two codes that we had on this vehicle. A faulty core pack and faulty gaskets on the uh, valve covers. So, you know, so, you know, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the valve covers and do a tune-up, a complete tune-up, and replace that coil pack. All right, guys.